sounding the alarm, Lindsey Graham said the following, quote, I believe that if we get Syria wrong within six months, and you can quote me on this, there will be a war between Iran and Israel over their nuclear program. My fear is that it won't come to America on top of a missile. It'll come in the belly of a ship in the Charleston or New York Harbor. A shakeup at the highest levels of the U.S. military. A top general in charge of nuclear weapons fired. And this comes 48 hours after another top military commander was dismissed. Diane, these officers have some of the highest security clearances you can get and have been in charge of the nation's most sensitive nuclear arsenals. A stunning chain of events. Today, Michael Carey, the two-star general responsible for the nation's three intercontinental ballistic missile wings, fired from his command. The reason? Personal misbehavior on a military business trip. This comes just 48 hours after President Obama himself relieved the number two in command over the nation's nuclear arsenal over his suspected use of counterfeit poker chips. These follow an alarming string of general officers losing their jobs this year for inappropriate behavior, misconduct, or lack of leadership. Two Marine Corps generals fired less than two weeks ago for not providing proper force protection in Afghanistan. An Army Brigadier General relieved of duty for adultery. An Army two-star general fired for groping a civilian. At least 16 commanders have been fired this year. The bad news is how much this is happening. But that same day beforehand, we leaked the intel specifically stating that the nuclear warheads were moving from Texas to South Carolina. To add matters to that and make it even more extreme, not only yes, do we have the second commander being fired, but the first commander being fired. And it later came out through these leaked emails, if you look at the Daily Mail piece, that the second in command was fired on the same day of the nuclear warheads transfer that we reported on. The exact same day, but that came out weeks later. So we couldn't have known that. The intel was right. 100%. We knew that. But this also goes into this new thing. This is breaking news here exclusive. The guy that's firing all these people, the head guy, his name is uh, Kowalski. He made a statement in this Department of Defense online website here in an interview. And he actually said, nuclear weapons are strategic weapons. They're political weapons. So they're not just weapons of war. He went on to talk about, you know, we have all these pound, 2,000 uh, pound bombs and everything. That's what master sergeants talk about. But once you get to the level of senator and secretary of defense, they talk about nuclear weapons. He's saying that nuclear weapons aren't actually weapons of war anymore. They're political strategic weapons. That to me sounds like he's saying, he's holding the country hostage as we talked about before. This is the guy in charge firing all these generals who wouldn't go along with him. They're replacing the real experienced people with this guy, Jack Weinstein, who will go along and play ball. It's definitely obvious these older generals were either whistleblowers, they weren't gonna go along with the plan. And it seems to me that basically he's saying that, yeah, nuclear weapons are not for war, they're political and strategic weapons. Sounds to me like they wanted to launch a false flag attack as a pretext to war in Syria and Iran as Graham was their little playboy to go out and say it, and then these guys would not go along with it. 